Jupiter, a behemoth among the planets in our solar system, 11 times the size of the Earth and weighing nearly 320 times as much, but for centuries its origin remained something of a mystery, especially the giant core we believe resides at the center. How large is it? How massive? How do such structures form? A giant super-Earth planet may have smashed into the young Jupiter, causing the core at the center to dissolve with the surrounding hydrogen and helium atmosphere. A colossal collision that literally shook the planet to its core. Welcome Sci-Fi fans to the first of our episodes that we call Shorts where we provide quick info flashes to bring you all some of the most interesting results from our team and other colleagues around the world in a nice bite-sized package. But first off, we want to welcome all our new subscribers. Thanks for your support, and we will continue to bring you these results in a manner that is efficient, reliable, and hopefully enjoyable. So today we want to provide you with a recent update on a subject that we discussed in a recent episode announcing our discovery of the exposed giant planet core, TOI-849b. If you haven't watched that episode yet, I recommend you pause this video and go check it out now. The link below is in the description. But today's results relate to the formation of the internal structure of Jupiter, particularly the dissolved core we believe resides down in the centre of the planet. Results from Juno's super-precise measurements of Jupiter's gravitational field variations suggest that the amount of metals in the planet, those elements heavier than helium, should be around 10 to 25 Earth masses and spread throughout half the radius of Jupiter. However, planet formation models predict that all of those metals should be sequestered deep down in the interior, with little metals dissolving into the atmospheric layers above. Therefore, to try to remedy this conflict, in a new work by Shang Fei Liu from the Chinese Sun Yat-sen University and collaborators, they propose a model where the young forming Jupiter was smashed by a colliding super-Earth planet. Now the impactor was large enough, with 10 times the mass of the Earth, that it shattered the interior core of the young Jupiter, causing it to mix with the surrounding atmosphere. Here we can see snapshots of the simulations, showing the collisional process. The colours relate to the density, with the densest region shown in bright yellow. We can see the accretion process, the effect on the central core, and what remains after only around 30 hours from the initial post-impact. Their model predicts that such a collision would cause the mixing to persist for billions of years, explaining the results we observe today. And importantly, the collision must happen head-on to be effective. Now, the impactor is not massive enough or travelling fast enough to cause significant mass loss from Jupiter, nor significantly alter the density, angular momentum, or orientation of the young world. This is because the total energy injected into the gas giant is only a few percent of the original pre-collision value. In fact, their model also works for other gas giants like Saturn, helping us to rethink the way we see planet formation. Colliding planetary embryos may be crucial in forming even the largest worlds long after they have accreted their hydrogen-helium gaseous envelopes, heavily modifying the internal structures of these worlds and providing us with another look into the violent past of our solar system and the systems that orbit other stars in the galaxy.